This is Bishop John Durfler of the Diocese of Marquette. When it comes to church teaching on human sexuality, many people think that the church's teaching can be summed up in one word. No, this is completely false. The church's teaching can be understood better in terms of living holistically, that is, integrating body, mind, and spirit in a mutual gift and acceptance of persons. Thus, the church's teaching is better summed up in a resounding yes to mutual giving. In my last message, I reflected on the fifth commandment. In this and in subsequent messages, I would like to reflect on the sixth and ninth commandments, which direct us to live a chaste life. Chastity is the virtue that helps us live holistically. It helps us to integrate body, mind, and spirit to foster the mutual gift and acceptance of persons. By living chastely, a man and woman develop the interior ability to say yes to the acts proper to marriage when they appropriately express the gift, and no when they do not. For example, Pope Paul VI said in the encyclical Humanae Vitae, quote, Men rightly observe that a conjugal act imposed on one's partner without regard to his or her condition or personal and reasonable wishes in the matter is no true act of love and therefore offends the moral order in its particular application to the intimate relationship of husband and wife. End of quote. In other words, it is contrary to the mutual gift and acceptance of persons and sinful for a spouse to force relations on the other spouse. Thus, to live marital chastity, a husband and wife need to live holistically. They need to integrate the desires of the body with the mind and the spirit so that they can say no to bodily desires when they are inappropriate and yes to those desires when they are. On their wedding day, a man and woman give their lives to each other by their marriage vows. Therefore, only in the context of this lifelong commitment can the acts proper to marriage truly express the mutual gift and acceptance of persons. Sex outside of marriage is incapable of expressing a faithful, permanent, and unconditional love. Therefore, it is contrary to the mutual gift and acceptance of persons. We are for faithful, permanent, and unconditional love, the true gift and acceptance of persons. We are against actions that violate the gift, including, but not limited to, fornication, adultery, pornography, masturbation, prostitution, and rape. Let us strive to live holistically, to integrate body, mind, and spirit in order to make a true gift of ourselves. This is Bishop John Durfler of the Diocese of Marquette.